This episode of the Sloopcast is brought to you by the Med Canadian Barbecue Company. Med Canadian Barbecue Company is an Ohio-based company located in Cary, Ohio, where they usually say our seasoning will take your barbecue from good to great. For those listening to this on Friday or Saturday, uh, the Med Canadian will be up in Tiffin, Ohio, between 5 and 9 p.m. So go check out the Med Canadian's food truck after the Ohio State-Oregon game up at the Tiffin Brewery, which is located on Wall Street up in Tiffin, between 5 and 9 p.m. to get some of that sweet, sweet Mad Canadian barbecue food. Five-star rated from the Sloopcast folks here, so you know that you're going to get some great, great, great food. Be sure to check out the uh, other social medias that Mad Canadian has, Facebook, Twitter, to find out. More information about uh, where him and his food truck are heading to next. Med Canadian Barbecue Company, the home official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. This episode of the Sloopcast is also brought to you by the Iron Bean Coffee Company. The Iron Bean Coffee Company is an Ohio-based, marine-owned, fresh roast-to-order, micro-roaster. Um, all of their beans are fair trade certified and USDA organic. Uh, they are based out of Carysburg, which is near Toledo. Um, they import all of their high quality coffee beans directly from coffee farms in Colombia, Brazil, Uganda, Honduras, Peru, Ethiopia, Indonesia, and other far off lands. Um, some of their most popular coffees are available in K Cup. Uh, they have gift cards available. They have subscribe and save services available. And you get free shipping, Kyle, over $50. I don't know why I said your name. So you can go there and find your new favorite coffee at ironbeancoffee.com. Once again, that is Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. I almost locked my beer over. That's the thing that almost happened. And I just opened it, too, which means, A, it would have made a mess, and two, I'm sober. <laughs> Because if you if you watched our uh, Thursday episode, which for us was like two minutes ago, I was drinking water. <laughs> Speaking of our sponsors, give these guys a shout out. They're not currently our sponsor, but we still love the boys over at Wolf's Ridge. It's cherry right, so today, Nice. So today's episode, we're going to go ahead and get into the national scope. We'll go over some of our picks here. So let's waste no more time, Jaron. Let's get into it. We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well. How are you doing tonight, Jared? I'll have no complaints, uh, although I'm a little bit afraid. I'm a little bit yep. afraid um, because Nomad just said he's entertaining becoming a sponsor. And I have no idea. He doesn't. I don't believe he owns a business. So I think he's just going to try and pay me money to make me say things on microphone. All right. So today's episode, afraid. we're going to go. <laughs> so today's episode, we're going to go ahead and get into the the national scope. We're going to go over some of the big games that week two has to offer and spoiler alert. Not as good as week one. No. <laughs> Not as good as week one. No, sir. Um, I was getting a little bit of shame in the Discord um, from people being like, what are you, why is Pitt versus Tennessee a sloop pick this week? Well, find a better game. <laughs> I dare you. I dare you to find a better game. You want to watch Alabama take on Mercer? No, no, I do not. You want to watch Oklahoma take on Western Carolina? No, no, I do not. Unless Western Carolina makes it interesting, then I might tune in. All right. All right. So we're going to go ahead and cover our sloop picks here. So we have a list of seven games. If I can count for seven, yep. always, seven it's, games. It's, it's always, it's always did, seven. It is always seven. I don't know why I forgot. I just blanked out on that. So. We covered the Ohio State Oregon game in the previous episode. If you haven't listened to that, check out Thursday's episode where we went over the Ohio State Oregon game. We'll go ahead and cover the other six games here. As a reminder, our slip pick 
for this week is Stuart underscore E4 US vet, who we will be uh, picking alongside us this week. So let's go ahead and jump into it, Jared. First game on our list that nobody's going to be watching. I might. I only because it's a slew pick. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't okay. otherwise. All right. So we have Pitt heading on over to take on Tennessee. This is a noon kickoff. And oh, it's Pitt. opposite Ohio State. I won't. I won't be watching this even a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Pitt is a three and a half point favorite. And I'm just looking, and this is on ESPN for those who will not be watching. No, 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 no one's no one who's listening to this will be watching that. <laughs> All right. So who do you have here, Jared? I have Pitt uh, only because I think Tennessee is a complete dumpster fire this year. Um, Pitt is. By Pitt standards, fairly decent. So mm-hmm. with that being said, I'm going to take Pitt. Yep, I'm going to take Pitt as well. I I think I just don't have any trust in Tennessee, haven't for a very long time. And I kind of like what I saw out of Pitt um, last weekend, as much as I regret saying that. But, <laughs> but yeah, you just I'll, never I'll know with Pitt. You just never know. Yeah. All right. So Stuart, Stuart oh, you go ahead. Stuart says here um, for this game, trying to figure out which is which, which is worse, a garbage conference or a garbage program. <laughs> The ACC is like a trash heap, but Tennessee is like the Simpsons tire fire. Give me Pitt. Yeah. Hey, yeah, it's it's uh, pick, pick your poison on that one. All right. Next up, we have Rutgers going to Syracuse. Uh, Syracuse. Nope. Rutgers is favored by I. I even knew Rutgers was favored, but it's like my lips couldn't couldn't form the words to actually say it. Rutgers is favored by two and a half. Kyle, who do you have? Give me the Scarlet Knights. Give me the Scarlet Knights. As Buckeye Zach says here, row the boat in Jersey. Well, they're not in <laughs> Jersey, but yes. <laughs> row that boat there for, for Rutgers. I, I will take Rutgers to cover. Uh, Nomad says Shauna goes six and six this year, which is uh, pretty good by by their standards. Um, although I think Duncan, who just joined us in the chat, um, Duncan says, and I think I think he surmises this perfectly. He says, yeah, sure. Rutgers, whatever, I guess. Go sign. <laughs> There's a good shot. Rutgers could go three and oh to start the season. Who do they have next week? Uh, Delaware. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think it's a very good shot. Maybe, I, maybe, be, maybe, maybe a slight shot going four and oh. Come on, who they got? They, who they got? They, 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 Quit they play Michigan. Me. They play Michigan. I, I, you know, I'm where? Uh, at, at Ann Arbor. Hmm. Uh, I would, I uh, mean, I wish, I wish, it, I wish it was in, I wish it was in New Jersey. Yeah. All right. All right. Anyway, we're, let's get back. Rutgers versus Syracuse here. Uh, Did we all three pick Pitt? Uh, let's see. Stuart says ACC, as said previously, is a trash heap. And Syracuse is the steamy poo filled diet baby diapers. Rutgers, who we would have taken to lose every game pre Seattle, has shown some life as of late. Give me Rutgers. So did we all three take Rutgers? We did. Yep. Did we all three take Pitt? Did you? Yeah. Okay, then yes. Uh, and then if, if you listen to the Thursday episode, we all three took Ohio State. So last week's slip picks for anyone who listened. Uh, outside of the Ohio State game where we all three took Ohio State. We didn't have any like consensus picks at all none outside of the ohio state game we found some sort of different combo for the other six games so far we're three for three picking exactly the same this week 
before we make it four for four as we get into Iowa and Iowa State. This is, and this tells you a lot about week two here. This is the second biggest game for week two. Iowa and Iowa State here. By far? Uh, I guess it, by far. By far. By far, yes. Actually, is this uh, the this only a, other rank on rank game? Um, I think it is. Kyle, I'm, yeah, because Washington because Washington laid an egg, so yes. I well, Michigan's not ranked either. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind then. <laughs> uh, three thirty game. Um, I think this is on ABC. I think I'm trying to double check here. Yep, it is on ABC four thirty. Iowa State is a three and a half point favorite. Who do you have, Jared? I'm going with Iowa and I'm going with Iowa, honestly, for no reason other than the fact that um, they're getting the points. I think the game's a total coin flip. So if you're going to give Iowa three and a half points, that's enough to entice me to pick Iowa. You read my mind, Jared. That's exactly what I went with. You're giving you're giving Iowa three and a half points there. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Iowa State's favored by three and a half. So give me Iowa there just, just for the sheer um, of Iowa State being three and a half favorite. Stewart says here, when comparing the wins for these two teams from last week, it's hard not to pick the Hawkeyes. Iowa State struggled in Northern, with Northern Iowa. And this may stick with some people, but with Matt Campbell as the head coach, there will be improvement. With that said, give me... The fighting Ferentz. 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 Uh, yeah, it's. Um, yeah. So once again, we've all picked the same. Which I honestly. Here here you go, Nomad. I'm, I'm about to do it for you now, which honestly is a really good strategy on, on you and Stewart's part, considering I'm currently tied for first in the slew picks. Just saying. <laughs> all right. After uh, one week. We... Tied for first. All right, before we get into the um the next part here, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do a quick quick ad break here since we're halfway through our picks here. So let's go ahead, Jared, and hear from our good friends over at the the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Yeah, let's let's hear from the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Iron Bean Coffee Company is an Ohio based I already I did that already. You heard that in the first ad read, right? Let's talk about some of the coffees. Um, let's talk about, um, if you, if you listen to our Thursday episode, if you, if you listen to the know your enemy episode, I talked a little bit about, um, the cast iron and the ride or die and how those are two of my favorites. Let's, let's talk about them in a little bit more detail. Um, the iron be- or the, uh, cast iron, um, is a versatile, smooth, rich, clean, um, full bodied, low acidity. Uh, it's major tone is uh, semi-sweet. Chocolate with smoke, uh, with like hints of floral. Uh, but what you're really looking for in this Honduran um, is probably the the spice notes, a little bit of a black pepper, uh, and in a in a caramel roast that you typically only get in a in a light roast. But you're going to get it in this medium roast. Why? Because the people at Iron Bean know what they're doing. That's why. Uh, and then there's the Iron uh, the uh, Ride or Die over at Iron Bean Coffee. Uh, This is a gentle but distinctive version of the classic American breakfast cup. Uh, Superb when drip, drip brewed and enjoyed black. By the way, both of these medium coffees, I add nothing to them. They they are legitimately that good. Um, They use Brazilian yellow bourbon coffee beans. uh, Superb smoothness and flavor uh, has a bit of a caramel, a hazelnut, sweet cream sort of note to it. It's not a flavored coffee. It's not flavored with those things. That's just that's just what you're getting out of the beans. Um, it's like many of the other Iron Bean Coffee Company coffees um, is, is low acidity, um, just has a naturally sweet flavor, kind of like a, a, a milk chocolate. You even get like a hint of cedar in that one. It's the ride or die. I love the ride or die. But you can buy that coffee. You can buy the cast iron and they have a whole other bunch of non flavored coffees and even flavored coffees that I haven't even touched on uh, over at ironbeancoffee.com. 
That's Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. This episode is also brought to you by good friends over at the Med Canadian Barbecue Company. Med Canadian is located in Cary, Ohio, where him and his company can take your barbecue from good to great. Or you can just take some of his great barbecue from his food truck. And you can find his food truck up at Tiffin, Ohio, this Saturday between 5 and 9 p.m. So after the Oregon game at the Tiffin Brewery located on Wall Street. So while you're there, just tell them, tell them that the, the folks over at the Sloopcast sent you. And he may he may um, give you a little, maybe give you a little extra there. Just just tell, just tell him, put on the Sloopcast uh, tab there. <laughs> um, no, 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 don't for more, do that. <laughs> Uh, uh, to find out where him and his food truck are going to next or more information about the Mad Canadian, check out his social media site, check out his Facebook page, um, to find out where him and his food truck are going to next. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company, the official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. Kyle, I wasn't listening at all because I was busy uh, answering some very unfair accusations currently going on in the chat down below. Um, yep. So all I heard was put it on the Sloopcast tab. And as all, that's all I heard somewhere in the back of my head that registered and was like, no, please don't do that. By the way, <laughs> patreon.thesloopcast.com. All right, let's go ahead and finish the games here. So next up on our list is Texas versus Arkansas. Right, Arkansas, right, Jared? Sure. Okay, this is a 7 p.m. kickoff on ESPN, and Texas is a six and a half point favorite. And Jared, that is not enough. Arkansas is a bad, bad football team. Give me Texas. Yeah, don't don't get me wrong. Um, I don't believe Texas is the 15th best team in the country. I do not believe that Texas is by any means back. I don't buy any of that. What I do buy is that Arkansas is like one more bad season away from getting demoted down to the Sun Belt. So with that being said, I'm going to also pick Texas. I, but I tell you what, Kyle, if this was seven and a half, if this was seven and a half, would you still have picked Texas? Yes, I would have been. I'd have been more hesitant. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Stewart says here is Texas back. This is a question that won't be answered in this game. Arkansas isn't a measuring stick. They're a shit stirrer. Give me the Longhorns. Horns down. Uh, we're, we're, we're all in sync again. Stewart's really honestly going over. Oh, and he's kidding, of course. I assume uh, <laughs> that I'm stealing his picks. Buddy, I'm in first. Why would I want your picks? <laughs> all right. Next up here, we have we have. The the sloop, the sloop cats. Um, what do we call it again? The sloop cats. Um, the social screen. Social screen. I can never remember. I can never remember that. Well, it's a sloop cast. <laughs> the sloop cats social screening. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get on our Discord here, and we're gonna stream the stream the game, and we're gonna chat. We're gonna talk about it, and just have a good old time. So if you want to be part of it. Be, you got to be a Sloop Cat, which you have to be a Patreon of our show to gain access to that. More information down in the doobly doos, as Jared would say. Washington and Michigan. This is up in Ann Arbor, 8 p.m. kickoff. And is this on ESPN? ABC? It is ABC. on ABC here. Michigan is a six and a half point favorite. And before you start, Stewart wants me to read his first. I don't know what this proves. I, I, I have my picks. I've made them already. <laughs> uh, he says here, this is a spot no one wants to find themselves in. Teton had, a, had an impressive showing last week while Washington was handed an L from Montana. This is a prove-it game for Washington, and I feel they'll come out trying to prove that last week was a fluke. I'm going to, plea, I'm going to plead the fifth on my pick. I don't know who is the bigger <laughs> asshole people who put OSU fans in the position to have to choose Teton or the guys who choose Teton for the win. 
So he picked Michigan. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm also. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. You yes, said it did. through mission. So we're saying you picked Michigan unless you specifically say down in the chat right now that you picked Washington. Unless you say, I picked Washington. <laughs> he picked an A team. Okay, that's is that team up north? That's what I thought. Um, <laughs> the north of us. <laughs> I mean, they're both north right. of us. One's well, just directly I, north. I, I, I picked that team as well, too. As, yeah. as, as do I. Um, both, of these both of these teams have lost to FCS schools, but only one of them has done it this year. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm also going to go with uh, that school up north to win and cover by six and a half points. All right. Last game for our and just like with Texas, team. this by no means means that they are back or that they are good. It just means that Washington's bad. All right. Last game. This is our Pac-12 after dark game. This is Utah taking on BYU. 10 15 kickoff. What a time. What a time. 10 15 on ESPN. I didn't even offer Utah, this one up as a social screening option. <laughs> yeah. Utah is a seven and a half point favorite. And I'll, I'll go ahead and start, and I'm just going to double check. And yep, I have the Utes to cover. Stuart, are you actually suggesting that you're not picking anyone and that you're just going to take the loss? In the sloop picks, because one, that's absurd, and two, respect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who do you got, Jared, in the Utah and BYU game? Um, going BYU because I just I picked the underdog. Going underdog on this one, I didn't have a good read one way or the other, um, so I'm taking the points. I don't think Utah. I think's fine this year. BYU, I think, is fine this year um it's a rivalry it, it's i'm just i'm just i don't feel good uh, good enough about utah to take them seven plus over a quality opponent which byu is at least a, a semi quality opponent all right so so jared's picking differently and stewart says i don't know about either of these teams so this is total guess Give me Utah. Hey, so, we finally picked different. So Stuart and I picked the exact same for all seven games, and Jared is has one different for the Utah and BYU game. Uh, so yeah, as we mentioned, not many, not many great games this week outside of the Ohio State Oregon game and the Iowa Iowa State. Like I mentioned, there aren't. There aren't really any really other good games here. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a real shit show out there. Uh, Kyle, let's do some Ask Sloopcast questions. Buckeye Zach asks, Michigan still sucks, correct? Yes. Correct, yeah. Uh, he also asks, over under 10 and a half that either Washington or Michigan reached uh, reached in total points when the when they slot fest this game. Hey, Buckeye Zach. What? <laughs> I can't I can't answer that question. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> He's typing. Um, ten total points. Who scores ten and who doesn't? I think they both score uh, ten points. I think if anything, this game lacks in defense. I think. If if you're looking, if you're looking for some sort of shit show, it's a shit show with a lot of points as opposed to a shit show with very little points. Yep. Yep. I agree. Um, another question from Buckeye Zach. Uh, with with Uga, do what is Uga to do against UAB without Daniels? Is the return of Stetson eminent? You know what they do and what they should have done more of against the Clemson game? Run the ball. They're going to run the ball all all game. I'd be surprised if they threw the ball more than 15 times all game. 
Uh, Stuart, it's rumored that he is, or excuse me, that was Nomad that said that. Uh, Nomad, it is rumored that he is hurt. That's not official. That JT Daniels is hurt. Um, but maybe. Um, it, quite frankly, Georgia's going to win games, and they're definitely going to win this game with their defense. So I, I don't care who their quarterback is. <laughs> not this week anyway. Does does it mean a lot about if, if again this 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 injury is just a rumor right now? So we don't even know how extensive it is. So yeah. what it says about their season is a thing we'll have to talk about at a later date. Yeah. For this week, it doesn't matter. They'll be fine. All right. Nomad asks, with the relative weakness of week two slate, do we see any top 25 chaos? All right, Kyle, let's let's play a game. Let's play a quick game. It has to be a quick game. If we take a look right. at this week's schedule. Um, this doesn't count for anything. We're just having fun. Um, pick, pick an upset. Are we, are, pick we looking a, at, are we looking at top 25 teams? Top 25 oh, here teams, and you can't you can't pick Iowa, Iowa State, Oregon, or Ohio State. It has to be. Okay. Well, I'm not saying this is my pick, but interesting game here. Friday night, Coastal Carolina and Kansas. Kansas coming off a one-game winning streak. Now. Stop it. <laughs> How is Auburn ranked? I mean, they're not going to lose to Alabama State, but who ranked Auburn? Jeez. That's 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 a lot. Uh, let's see. How about South Here we go. South Florida versus Here we go. Florida? Eh, no. Keep keep scrolling down to 7 p.m. on ESPNU. What about Miami taking on Appy State? Oh, who feeling real disheartened after last week? Uh, uh, I don't know. How do you feel about Stanford versus USC? Yep, that's that's what I have here looking at. I think Stanford, USC or the other Pac-12 game that we talked about, Utah and BYU. I, I don't want to count that's that fun. one either. I know it's technically not a 25 versus 25, but that one that one's too obvious. That one's too up in the air. Um, but it is it is prob probably the only realistic answer. Mm -hmm. South Carolina State versus Clem uh, yeah, that's nothing. Georgia State versus North Carolina, that's nothing. I mean, it could be Arkansas versus Texas. Eh. Arkansas is garbage. Of Matthew. course they're garbage, Kyle, but we're we're trying to pick chaos here. Is 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 there so like if we had to pick an a unranked versus a top 25 team, you have to pick you have to pick an upset unranked over a top 25 team. BYU over Utah is probably your first option if you have to. I think Arkansas over Texas is your second choice. You know what? Just you know what? I'll just mix up. I'll go with I'll go with the uh, I'll go with the Mountaineers. I'm gonna go with the Mountaineers. Which Mountaineers? Of Appy State. Okay, Appy State. <laughs> yeah, I think Appy State's <laughs> probably. I would say probably probably the third pick. Probably the third pick. Oh, mm -hmm. is is Tathan playing for UNLV? I know he's at UNLV. Did he play last week? I didn't. I have no idea. No, he I'm going to look. He didn't. I'm pretty sure he didn't. He did not. Some guy named Doug Brumfeld did. Um, and then also another quarterback named Justin Rogers. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm so, sure he's hurt. <laughs> You're sure he's hurt. <laughs> sure. All right. Um, all right. I think that's it. I yeah. think that's all the questions we have here, Jared. So. Uh, why don't you kick us off here? Uh, oh, here's another. I want to get this last one from Nomad. Does Michigan go four and zero out of conference? Who? Who? Who are their other two games? I think they win. Um, they won last only, week. I think they win this week. I assume uh, they they're play, probably cupcakes. They play uh, Northern Illinois. Oh, yeah, they they should absolutely win that. 
Uh, that's it. They only have three out of conference games. That can't be true. Western I mean, Michigan, unless Nomad's Washington, lying. Mich- Western Michigan, Washington, and Northern Illinois. Oh, he West says I mean. He says I teams. meant three and no. I mean, we'll we'll we'll. They should absolutely beat Northern Illinois. We'll. I think they beat Washington. So yes, three and no. Sure, blame yourselves. Yep. We believe you. Yep. <laughs> All right, Kyle. That's it. So. Want to encourage everyone to check out our t-shirt store, merch.thesloopcast.com. I'm I'm wearing a Mario shirt right now. Kyle's wearing our beer music podcast t-shirt right now. Um, go get your stuff before Ohio State takes our stuff down. They, you know, they tried to take this t-shirt down, Kyle. They tried to take this one down. Not Nintendo, no. mind you. Ohio State. They tried. No. Yeah, they, they're, anyway. Um. They also made us change the tagline for our show. The bastards. Um, so yeah, check out merch.thesleepcast.com. Check out patreon.thesleepcast.com. Uh, go to discord.thesleepcast.com and join our discord server. Uh, we've had a bunch of people join the discord server lately. Come on over. We have a lot of fun. Um, Kyle. For Kyle's corner, do you want to make me say some of these uh, some of these Oregon player names that we didn't get to last episode, so that uh, Stewart and Nomad leave me the hell alone? <laughs> All right, sure. Since we didn't get to it on Thursday's episode, let's go ahead and do this. All right. Oh boy, these are tough. <laughs> it is Oregon here, so this is going to be this one's going to be fun here. Uh, number 48 outside linebacker, Trevin Ma'e, or maybe it's Ma'e. I bet one of those A's is long and the other one is short. I just don't, you're, you're going to say Ma'e? Gangland says Ma'e. Uh, number 97, nose tackle, Marcel Afis, Afis, Afis. I'm not going to attempt to correct you. That's for sure. Uh, inside linebacker number 46, Nate. His name's Nate. We're, we're leaving it now. Um, Hakul and I. Nate. And uh, and I. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with think, tight end. I think that's fine. I'm going to go. With, I'm going to go with tight end number eight, Maliki Matavao. Yeah, no, I'm I, I'm I'm much better at those uh, weird Minnesota and Wisconsin names, um, because because I'm white. Let's just let's just say how it is. Um, let's see, defensive tackle number ninety four, so uh, Suvea, Pody, Suava, Suava, so, Suava, Pody. There you go. By the way, and I just want to be real. I want to be real clear about something. The joke here isn't ha ha. They have funny names. The joke here is that we're bad at pronouncing them. I just want to be very clear that. The heel of this joke, the target of this joke is us. We're not. We're not making fun of them for having like weird names. We're making fun of us for being. Too doofuses from Ohio who don't know how to pronounce uh, Pacific Island names. We're we're the butt of this joke. I just want to be very clear about that. Yes. All right. I, I think that's enough names for him today, Jared. I think that was all of the ones he had highlighted. I think so, too. All right. Let's go ahead and end the episode. Y'all, the y'all are being game. nasty over there. <laughs> God. They're trying to get me hooked on phonics. Christmas is coming up, guys. Christmas is coming up. All right. Take us away here, Jared. All right. So that was Kyle's Corner. Uh, Tonight's ending music will be brought to you by a, uh, I think it's just a guy. I think it's just a guy out of Columbus. Uh, He goes by the name St. Seneca. Uh, So you can uh, check it out. The name of this song is going to be All You've Got Is Everyone. That's the name of night song all you've got is everyone 
And uh, with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is St. Seneca.